Okay, this is the four-part probe. Single stage to orbit. Bam! That's it. What you see is what you get. We have the non-radial version of the 2270, the, yeah, the 4870S. Is it an S? I thought it was a 5. Anyway, that, and we have a really small little fuel tank, the FLT200. And we have a single solar, the ADBDI here, very little mass. And that's it. Oh yeah, and then the small, thin octo probe core. So, let's launch this thing. The loading screen takes forever for me for some reason, although it doesn't appear to be universal. Uh, some people were saying that it loads faster for them. I'm slower for some reason. If I need to cough up money for a solid state hard drive. Alright, so there we go. Let's turn on the controls. Let's go a little over two thirds throttle. Let's get that. We'll be eyeballing that the whole time. And bam! Let's just do 66%. So 0 0.40 units of fuel expenditure per second. And we're going to ride it just like this, pretty much all the way up. So at this point we have 120 seconds of fuel. This will end up being enough. It just takes a while to get up there, that's all. This cold is continuing to kick my butt. And as we the atmosphere thins out, the efficiency of the engine goes up, which means we're burning less fuel per second now than we were when we started. That's okay. That's perfectly fine. It's midget-sized. <laughs> 5,000 meters. Expanded half our fuel tank. Let's ratchet back up to 0 0.40 units of fuel. Now we are getting enough sun exposure. Hold it at uh, 45 degree azimuth. Let's go to map view and look at our ascent profile. Coming along nicely. We're going to run this up to about 80,000 meters. Second pen. <coughs> Pardon my cough. Okay, we're just about, and we've cleared atmosphere. And there we go. A little bit slower than how I'd like, but that's okay. I'll go ahead and speed this up. So yeah, it makes orbit, but kind of just barely. Welcome to space music. I need to pick up another thousand meters per second here. Can we do it? Oh, there we go. 
go. I think we got it. Seven units of fuel left. Or right, perhaps this is beginning to pull away from us. So I can ease back on a throttle. Just kill it, wait for it to catch up. Or us to catch up with it, rather. away again. Do some more. There's our periapsis marker. Oh. There we go. 82 versus 83. It's pretty good. And I still have 2.42 units of fuel left. So now, I can turn this thing to face the sun. They are nice and happy. One unit of sun exposure. Turn that off, put this thing to sleep. Disable that, lock that, disable that. Bam, I have a stable orbit and a four part probe for pretty much no real reason at all except to say that I did it. Well, there you go.